So my name is Jan Jensen. I'm a professor of chemistry uh, at the University of Copenhagen, uh, where I've been uh, for a long time. We, my group works on uh, reaction discovery using, or in general, we use quantum chemistry uh, to work on problems in terms of chemical reactivity and properties. And we also now use machine learning uh, as part of our molecule discovery uh, program. Okay. Hi, I'm Maria. So uh, I'm a PhD student in Jan's group, um, and I'll hand in my thesis in three months, so I'm almost done. Um, at the Department of Chemistry and University of Copenhagen, where I also took my education. Um, yeah, and I do yeah reaction discovery and automation in in that. So yeah, so this is uh, reaction discovery, um, and in an automated workflow. Uh, where we here tested on a range of different kinds of systems. So um, we all already published last year a paper where we just had one tiny test system where we tried the workflow, but here um, we use uh, the same workflow, so metadynamics um, um, in order to find new reactions, uh, do automated transition state uh, searches and uh, validating them with uh, DFT in the end. And, and what we do here is we test it on um, uh, a range of different uh, unimolecular reactions, but also uh, bimolecular reactions. And we also actually um, test the system on some more uh, real life application. Uh, so actual um, organic uh, synthesis steps uh, here. The most important part here was that, I mean, you, you, you try to build these workflows and uh, in the beginning, you sort of have to stick to something very simple. So where you have some data um, uh, and uh, so you go a long way and, and you kind of, uh, for a long time, you just, you, you hope it's gonna work when you also test it on some bigger systems and um, stuff like that. And I think what's promising about this part is that it actually also seems to work quite well when when you go to something that would actually be of use for uh, organic synthesis uh, uh, people or chemists.